Eva James Elliott. Five charmer who showed everyone what a sexy Navy pilot should look like on the hit show Jag. Now he plays Rip Cockburn. <laughs> an, an oil baron ready to sexually satisfy his wife anytime, any place in the new series GCB. Take a look. Sharon is just gonna have to find out on her own. Brain war is all you can do, kid. You're so smart. I'm so blessed to have found a husband like you. I wish all marriages could be as happy and as secure and as spiritually grounded as ours. They do. You want to do it on the desk? Please welcome the dashing David James Elliott! Or should I call you Rip? Rip is good, yeah. What, why is your character named Rip Cockburn? Uh, you know, you have to talk to Robert Harling about that, but that, that was enough for me when they came to me with that job. The name was, I didn't even need to read the script. Done. You're in. I like Cockburn. it. And obviously, he's, uh, he's everything the name implies. Changing your name over <laughs> to Rip Cockburn. Yeah, I'm still considering. Because if not, that. I'm interested in getting in on it. Um, yeah. You're actually in the midst of training for uh, in your in your real life, not as Rip, for a pretty intense right. competition. Is that right? Yeah, I'm, I'm training for the they call it the Molokai Challenge. It's a 32 mile paddleboard race from Molokai to Oahu. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow that, I bet that takes a lot of upper body strength and stamina. <laughs> Swimming. <laughs> Hopefully less swimming and more stroke. Yeah, right. <laughs> Trace seats with me, Sarah. Trace seats. <laughs> but you, you had to have a lot of open. To, uh, Rip yep. Cockburn. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Get over favorite. here by old Rip. Yeah. <laughs> but you, but you, also have, you have to have a lot of open water skills for that too, and you're also a, a, a deep sea, open water diver. Is that right? You yeah, I can tell you. Hopefully, I won't be diving on that day. But, you know, <laughs> it'll be, a, yeah, you'll be in and out of the water. I'm sure it gets. Pretty, yeah, well, you never know what you're going to get out there in those channels. I mean, but it's pretty rough. You swam with sharks before, right? I swam with gray white sharks. Yeah, with uh, on a on a show for three days. We snorkeled with them. I thought oh. I was going in the cage, but we were, when I got there, they. They Is asked that kind me, of like hey, a would you dare thing? Like, it uh, came, hey, we came outside. like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought he was kidding. He asked me all the time. I would, <laughs> I would punch a shark in the face if he tried to bite you. I would just punch it in the face. Why would I'm bringing you everywhere I go. Man, so Did you have shit here? Because I <laughs> yeah. had her give me a phone book. No, no, you can't do that. He's the time. Ask him about his lovely wife, Nancy, yeah, well, who, I, well, who is my new best friend, Nancy. <laughs> what I'm curious about is what your wife, Nancy, thinks when you go do all these daredevil crazy things. You know, when I did, when I swam with the sharks, they asked me if I'd get out of the cage, and I thought they were kidding, and I said, yeah, and then they got really excited, and, and then it turned out that they weren't kidding, and then I said to her, you know, what do I do? And she said, well, you got to do it now. <laughs> oh, so she's oh, oh, that. That's the first one to push me overboard. <laughs> I have to talk about that life insurance policy. You know what? You know what? I had life insurance, and they saw the show that I was on, and they called and said, you can never do that again, or you can't, your, your policy oh, is Oh, wow. Wow. Well, if you see it again, it's a rerun. Just to yeah. <laughs> so you did it, but, like, how do they, what's the trick? Like, they feed them a lot beforehand, and then you... No, yeah, well, you know, that was a great, they're 20 feet long. They're like, it's like a submarine. They're enormous. And at one point, there was three of them in the water. You chum them in. You don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you just hope. There were four of us, so I figured I had one in four chance. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, on your new show, GCB, which um, is an abbreviation for a very a scandalous <laughs> phrase. Yes. Uh, you, uh, good Christian, 
um, witches. Uh, yeah, it's a different word than that, it's like right? A cross That's how it's between Dallas or Bells, but wasn't yeah, the original it's script? It's like a cross between Dallas and Desperate Housewives, wouldn't you say? <laughs> That's what the show is kind of like. So you know what the I hate means. to do that to anything. You know what I mean? I don't think it's like anything. I think it's like it's, it's different. It's, well, because it's, it's edgy. I mean, the, the yeah, original name. And the original coach was yeah. this kind of, it's this edgy thing, these, these yeah. women who are kind of there, you know, there's a lot of machination behind the scenes, but your wife on the show, Kristen Chenoweth, who's adorable, is also, like, this big. She's a tiny little thing. She's like, she's 4'11 four, she's four and you're 6'5", and you have to have all these love scenes, and how is she on a, does she stand on another yeah, woman? How does she do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> She stands on me and then it's equal time. <laughs> How does that all work out? How's that been? I, I, you know, well, I guess she just does what she needs to do. Huh? <laughs> she's standing on the table, she jumps up there and... Uh... I'm going to try that. I got to follow you on Twitter. I'm 5'2", you know, what are you? I'm six, I'm six feet tall. There you are go, you really? let's do it. Yeah. Let me know what they say. Next, David is going to show us his surprising passion. The secret, it's all on the wrist. We'll be right back. <laughs>